Good eye, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to ski to Glacier Point. Now, Glacier Point is in Yosemite National Park, and it features arguably the best view of Half Dome anywhere. What's interesting is in the summertime, the tourists can drive out Glacier Point Road, which is this road right here, and there's plenty of parking out there, and there's typically hundreds of tourists out there. But in the wintertime, they don't plow the road, so once it snows, the road is closed. And the only way to get out there is either on skis or snowshoes. It's a 22 mile round trip to get out there. So that pretty much eliminates most of the folks. So in the winter time, you can go out there, it's gorgeous and the view is amazing and you pretty much have a place to yourself, maybe a couple of other hardy souls. So uh, we're gonna make the trip out there. When I say we, I mean me and you. Now the nice thing is, since it's groomed, just like you would groom a downhill ski area or a cross country Nordic area, I'm on skate skis today. So that means I can cover this thing pretty fast. I can probably do the round trip in actual moving time skiing probably in about three hours. So it's not too bad. And so I can take my sweet time, take photographs, take video. So anyway, we got 22 miles to do. So let's crack on, shall we? Okay, right here we come to a junction, and if you go that away, that is kind of a slightly longer way uh, to get to Glacier Point. Our main road is right here. That takes you over to Bridal Vale Campground, and it's called um, Old Glacier Point Road. So it's a, a little bit more of a roundabout way. It adds, I don't know, a mile or two onto the uh, trip. I've not done that. The main road tends to be groomed a little better, so I prefer to stay on that, and 22 miles is plenty, so I'm just gonna keep on going on this road. All right, and here is the trailhead to Ostrander Lake. Now, Ostrander Lake is a place where there is a backcountry hut. You can reserve it and stay back there in the wintertime. The backcountry skiing around there is just amazing. I did it a whole lot back in the day. It's a good ski uh, through the woods that you have to navigate. Back in the day before GPS, we had to use map and compass to find our way to the hut. Curiously, I don't see any tracks going out that way, but I think there is another trail up the road, if I recall. And this is just one of the ways to get there. And then in the winter, it's easier to just climb up the ridge. So I think uh, once we get up a little further, we're gonna see some tracks going into the woods and I'll show you where that is when we pass it. All right, so here's the uh, ski trailhead. I still don't see any tracks through there, but this is where you go if you wanna take the ski route. Now you can see it's uh, 6.1 miles to the Ostrander Lake. So, and that's all back, back country, nothing's groomed out there. So it's a pretty good slog to get to the hut. The good news is you only have to go one way and then stay over it. Okay, now it's all coming back to me. This is the Horizon Ridge Trail. This is the more direct route to uh, Ostrander Hut via the ridge. It's listed as the most difficult as a black diamond, but this is the way that most people go, and this is the way that I always went, and you can see there's tracks here. It's quite a bit shorter, I and mean, you're up on the ridge, and you get a lot of nice views, so it's kind of steep going up, so you need proper climbing skins and whatnot, but if you have that, then it's a much better way to go. Oh, I wanted to also point out that the fresh grooming ended at uh, about halfway point, about mile five and a half. And now we're on old groomed, which is either kind of icy and bulletproof or there's this drifted snow that's uh, soft. So uh, it's not quite as easy going now as it was, but it's still pretty good. All right, so as we approach uh, Washburn Point, it gets a, there's a pretty steep downhill and it's super icy right now. You can hear the skis scraping. So I'm just taking it nice and easy. Don't wanna fall and get hurt. As you can see the peaks in the distance there over the trees. And pretty soon we're gonna get to uh, Washburn Point, which is, has just amazing kind of a profile view of half dome. All right, so here we are coming up on Washburn Point. And there, right through the trees, you can see the profile of half dome. There it is. Oh my God. Look at that. Okay, so I've just come down the road a little bit more and now you can see uh, a little bit more of the face of uh, Half Dome there. I'm not quite to Glacier Point, got a little more to go. A little more downhill. And the falls are down there behind those trees. And then over there are the peaks that we were looking at before. I think that is the Clark Range. The Mount Lyle is not uh, among those. I think that maybe it's Merced Peak and Mount Clark.
All right, so here I am inside the little stone kiosk thing. And if we look out this way, you can see over to Half Dome, over there. And there's, uh, there's the way I came in. Well, I also wanted to point out that if you look just to the left of Half Dome, there's that sort of razorback uh, ridge up there. That's called Clouds Rest, the top of that. And you can hike up there. I've actually camped at the top of there one time during the winter. I actually skied up there and camped on my way from, uh, where was I going? I think I was going from uh, Mammoth to Yosemite Valley, I think, yeah, on a ski tour. So that was pretty incredible to have the opportunity to just sleep up at the top there. And then another time I came through there, I actually backpacking I I went up there I didn't sleep up there but I uh, did hang out up there here's another view of the Nevada and Vernal Falls little Yosemite Valley is where the falls are over this way I also figured out the peaks that I was confused about um, Mount Lyle is over that way, but there's those, they look real small from here, but those, that triangular shaped peak that has completely covered in snow, that's not Lyle, but Lyle's just peeking out from the right side, of the shoulder there, of the peak in the foreground, which is Mount Florence. And then this one I was more or less right about, uh, right in the center there, that's Mount Clark. But the other one that I didn't have right, that other one there that has the snow shadow, the, the steep face of the peak is in shadow in the distance there. That one is Gray Peak. And then I was right about this kind of dome stone thing in the center now that is Mount Star King. So anyway, sorry about that, but we got it all straightened out. And the reason we got it all straightened out is because I'm looking at this thing right in front of me here has the whole deal. And the other thing I couldn't remember is which was Nevada and which was Vernal Falls. So as it turns out, Nevada is the upper falls and then this uh, lower falls down here, that would be Vernal Falls. Here's the Logic Laser Point all boarded up for the winter. They used to offer a thing where you could uh, ski out here and stay overnight, but probably since COVID, they're not doing that anymore. You can see these large blocks of snow that have slid off the metal roof there. All right, everybody. So I've uh, done the big climb out of, uh, out of Glacier Point to the, uh, to the kind of the summit here, which is just shy of 8,000 feet. And up behind me over this way is uh, Sentinel Dome, which is a sort of a hiking area, people come in the summertime. So from here, it's kind of a gradual downhill for a long ways. Then once we bottom out around those Ostrander Lake uh, trails, then we have some upsy downsy. So there's still some climbing to do. I've done about 2000 feet worth of climbing so far. And I'm guessing we have at least 500, probably not a thousand, but we'll be close to somewhere close to 3000 feet total on this uh, little excursion. So that's a pretty good amount of climbing. While I've got you here, I'd like to remind you that I would love to have you come along on my further adventures. So and I've got many plans. So please do like and subscribe and come along with me on my next adventures. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. So onward. So we got the long downhill now. I'm just going to kind of cruise that and then uh, we'll see what the rest of it looks like. It has warmed up a little bit. So the snow's a little softer. That icy stuff wasn't as bad coming up as it was coming down because I spent a good amount of time at Glacier Point, probably over an hour. Uh, I really enjoyed that. So, all right, let's crack on, shall we? There's a more open section. Super nice. Yeagers. You can see what we're dealing with here. There's, this is icy section. Then you got these little kind of drifts you got to be careful of. So, it's just a little bit tricky, but pretty manageable. 
All right, everyone, thanks for coming along on that most excellent adventure. I am completely exhausted, knackered as they say, but it was an incredible adventure. So beautiful out there. So amazing to have that whole Glacier Point area to myself and be able to hang out and observe the beautiful views. So totally worth it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next adventure, thanks for watching.